Oh my gosh, I am so done with this. Crazy. Ice fishing takes patience, takes preparation. It's actually kind of like a 5K. But on the track, you know what you're catching. As you can see, there's a little peninsula out there on the lake. It's a picnic point. Um, we actually follow um, even on the back side of the lake over there. You can get about 11 miles worth of running in on soft surface. Down at the Union right now, one of the best places to be uh, in the spring and summertime for hanging out with friends and everything. They actually serve here at our Union. Um, they have live bands that play, um, they have open mic nights, and as you can see, it's right on the lake as well. College library. When I was on my recruiting trip, I was told that uh, it was in Playboy magazine as one of the top ten places to pick up women. So that's in the entire country. Um, we're at State Street, as you can see, it runs right up to the Capitol. Totally not supposed to be driving on the street right now, but. Um, there's a lot of outdoor shopping, a lot of restaurants, lots of bars. Um, and this is uh, being in college, going through injuries. Uh, this is how I kind of got away from running and actually kind of lived a real college lifestyle. So Michelle's maiden name, Michelle, Kim, or Michelle Carson. Um, she uh, ran for Michigan State back in 2000 during cross country season, um, noticed her because we both won the Big Ten titles that year uh, in cross country. Didn't actually build up to talk to her until the following year in 2003 um, and did the whole usual courting type thing, just talking as much as we could. And, um, ironically enough, for her to drive home, she's from Winnipeg, Canada. Um, she uh, has to drive right through Madison. So I was able to talk her in the stop and, and that's when we had our first date it was right before Christmas of 2003. This is what saves us in the winter time. We come in here and use this for repeat sessions. Um, you can actually see the yellow cones that are set up here right now. Um, it's actually measured out to 250 meters and we have everything up to 2,000 meters marked. Um, we've done five times a 2K in here before, which is not that bad because you don't have that many repeats, but it's eight, uh, it'd be eight laps. Very hard running. Uh, this turf's very, very soft and uh, it makes us very, very strong. All right. So believe it or not, uh, the house up here uh, in Wisconsin doesn't have a garage. Um, I got something uh, pretty close to my heart that's uh, in storage right now to keep it out of these harsh, bitter, cold winters. And uh, pull it out special just for you guys. Uh, as you'll see, it's a pretty hot whip. This is how it's done right here. Zero to 30 in about two seconds. Top speed about 45 miles an hour. Going downhill. You hear that? The beast wants out. Heading over to uh, Sarah Schwald and Dan Lincoln's place. Uh, Dan Lincoln 
just finished up his uh, last semester down in Little Rock with medical school. So he's up here training uh, for the next month or so. Um, he's actually uh, obviously joining the group um, out in Portland as well, which is a great addition. Um, and uh, we're just going to get in a good solid hour run this afternoon, um, just a training run. And uh, we're going to probably dip down into the uh, Arboretum for a little while. Uh, we utilize the Arboretum Road a lot for uh, our uh, progression runs and uh, tempo runs uh, when, the, when the weather allows us. Um, great road, pretty challenging. Um, and the road is actually a perfect 10K loop. Um, and we got all the quarters marked off the whole way around. So there is, um, with Madison, it's a pretty active community. Uh, there are quite a few people that know what's going on and know the tradition that's been here at Wisconsin. One of the coolest things that we saw was uh, we held a very low-key 1500 this past summer and we literally put it together within like four days and it hardly got any press or anything. But there was probably over you know, 1500 people that showed up. Mm -hmm.